come in and take a seat. Ja, ey. Hello. Hello, guy. Hello, baby. Hello. 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 You've got a funny eye, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking for somebody with a red rope around their leg. Have you seen them? No? Have you seen them? brown one hasn't moved. Daddy. Ah, there's, the, yes, yeah, the round, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, le left front paw. Left front paw. That one? Yeah, there's a, I think, round about uh, six to eight dogs just here, but you can never really count them all at one time. <laughs> They're all moving about. But uh, we've seen the little doggy here that we've come to see. Um, it's a, a brown dog with a little red line around its uh, front left paw. Somebody contacted um, Hand to Paw. The people that contacted her said that uh, there was a string around a, a, a puppy's leg. So that's why we're at this location, but uh, further up the way where the food vendors on the side of the road uh, sell chicken and other nice smelling things. Um, there's a doggy underneath that building up there. Amandine's put her glove on. I noticed the thumb's missing. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it hasn't been ripped off. Okay. I'll hang back with the net, shall I? Just in case. If she bolts, if she bolts, that's your shoes. Can I hold the flashlight? Sure. Oh, I can smell them from here. Yeah. Smells rotten. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the smell's quite strong isn't it? Sorry babe. Good boy. You said it was a girl? Yeah, good girl, you're right. Actually I'm not sure. Uh -huh. I think sometimes in their messages they say boy and then okay. sometimes they say girl. So I'm not sure. Okay. Good girl. Good girl. Now that the dog's in the Good girl. In the net, I'm gonna give an injection of combi stress which is a sedative that's really really strong smell yeah well wow. okay. hopefully she doesn't react too badly can uh, sorry i do need the flashlight just so i can see where the head is yeah oh sorry baby bless her she probably doesn't even know it's there oh bless her well, that's yeah. a little de-stressing injection for the dog. Hopefully, <sighs> wow, the smell is over overwhelming. The smell of rotting. Yeah. Hmm. Well, in this amazing little cramped space, this hole beneath the uh, fried chicken cellar at the top here is this poor dog uh, in a in a little dugout uh, underneath there. Amandine has just given some uh, de-stressing medicine and uh, a little bit of a sedative as well. So hopefully uh, the dog, we don't know 
it could be a boy, uh, it could be a girl, but uh, it, hopefully the dog will calm down and uh, not be so stressed when we bring them out. Amadou's got the net over the top and uh, the poor dog didn't even um, try to escape, it didn't try to make a, a run for it, it's just in a little pit there, just so, so sad. You can see the pain in the dog's eyes, it's awful and uh, the ear is very, very smelly. Are you getting any movement from the, the dog at all? Yeah, he is moving. He is moving, but there's no like biting or trying to go into the net. There's a good boy. There's a good boy. Good boy. Good boy. That's great. You poor little guy. You can see in the side there the maggots in the ear and uh, how the poor dog isn't very stable on their feet. Poor little thing. And uh, the maggots will, will die today. The infection will be attended to within the hour. So this poor dog, it is a, it is a boy. Uh, this poor little dog will, uh, will have some help today from Amandine, hand to paw, Chiang Mai, who needs your help. And this doggy needs your help too. What's his name? Uh, let's call him... What are you referring to him from now on? Um, what's a Thai word for like warrior or... Okay, we just found a new name for this. Poor little doggy here. Uh, fighter is Dasu, uh, warrior, Dasu. Kun Dasu, you're going to a vet. We're going down the mountain and uh, you'll get your ear treated today. Uh, when an infection starts in skin, especially around the ear, uh, flies land on it and then they lay their eggs and then go within the ear and then you get all the maggots chewing away. And if you can imagine when you are ill yourself, you have uh, a, a heady uh, infection of some sort, you lose your balance and therefore it makes you very giddy. And you can imagine the poor soul uh, is suffering with giddiness, with this awful gnawing away at their, at their ear. They may well lose their ear, uh, the inner ear, which will be uh, ex you know, extracted by a vet when repairing the wound or whatever's going on up here. And hopefully we can turn this dog's life around. There's probably going to be infections of all sorts of things in the blood as well. And as we don't know the history of the dog, they may be needing to sterilize. So Amandine, hand to paw, will actually look after that.
So they're gonna be pulling blood to make sure um, to see how bad the infection is. And they're also gonna be giving him fluids because he hasn't been eating and so he's not well hydrated and he hasn't gotten enough nutrients. And so we wanna make sure that he's healthy enough. So um, they're gonna be, yeah, they're gonna be hydrating him. So Amandine, today you've rescued this dog here and it started the life cycle uh, of this um, care plan. Um, you've told us all about uh, really what you're thinking now uh, the vet will uh, do and how the vet will care. What's the cost involved in that? I think we're looking at probably 10 to 15,000 baht uh, for two to three weeks stay in a hospital plus surgery. Uh, it might be even a little bit more. So 10 to 15,000 baht, we're looking at about 400 to $500. Uh, so we're going to need to raise this money just to save his life. Four to five hundred dollars? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Right. Which is really like so little when you consider the amount of work involved and you consider just how life changing it is for this one dog. Yeah. Well, let's um, hope that uh, this guy is going to pull through. He's in good hands. The vet's giving him full attention. They're going to do a blood test. I'm going to get some fluids in, in, in him anyway, but uh, they're going to do a blood test to make sure that they understand how this guy's living at the moment. I can even see that they're giving him some oxygen. Wow. Check out the link below. You'll see a Facebook page, but also you'll see a PayPal uh, link uh, and you'll be able to make a donation if you can uh, to assist Amandine in, in the work that they do. Uh, visit the site, you'll see the links, the same links there. Amandine is a registered organisation here in Chiang Mai and can receive funds to do the work that is being done by Amandine. So it's all very uh, transparent and uh, above board. So uh, if you'd like to help, I think that would be greatly appreciated.